right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV The After Years. We got lost in the cave. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm Tragic Life, and we will find our way out. So we, I got out of the wall. It wasn't hard. I'm not really sure what happened. If you watched the last video, I got stuck in the wall. It happens, I guess. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue, and we're almost done with this cave. All right, that was two Giga Gators and a Floodworm. That was two Baron's Guardsmen. All right, so we're now in the place. Let's see. Um, head all the way up, all the way to the right, then down, then left, until you get to the very bottom left corner. So head all the way right, then down, then left, all the way... Very right, bottom left corner. Head up here and press against the invisible block. Found a thousand gold. Okay. Head all the way back to where you came from and paste the invisible block next to the left block representing where you came from. Okay, got a bronze hourglass. Okay, head down to the left side and enter the stairs. Father, mother, Theodore, your parents are in the castle? Yes. What are their names? My father's name is Cecil and my mother is Rosa. What's wrong? No, nothing. Went ahead to check up on them. Wait. What is it? Watch yourself. I will. Uh, Theodore has left the party. What do you mean, Theodore? I thought that was me. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What is it? Well, our mission was only to accompany you on your way to Baron. Yes, that's right. But something bad is brewing as we speak. We need to bring word of this crisis to Mesidia. I understand. Thank you for the help you gave me. All right, so we're alone. Hmm. Someone's voice. I can barely hear it. Okay, let's see. So this is 100% um, optional going in here. Um, what on? It's not opening. Theodore is in danger. I need to hurry. Okay. Nothing in the tower up ahead and the same point to the room next to it. Save if you want. To proceed further, go through the door Theodore went through. Head through the stairs until you get to the main room and head up toward the throne room. Okay. You are. You're all right. Of course I am. I need to be. The Baron is going to continue keeping the peace in this world. You've changed. Do I know you? You're just a stray beggar, then please leave immediately. I am a very busy man. Pardon me. Yeah. 
There's no one here. Yeah, it looks like it. They did the monster. Did, they, did the monster get them all? Why didn't he say anything about Cecil? Looks to be that way. Huh. I couldn't even find Sid's airship, the Enterprise. You didn't. Let's just pray he got out safely. I hope so. Who are you, sir? Now is not the time to dwaddle. Dwaddle, 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 dwaddle. All right, Theodore's back. Yay! Okay. So you can leave through the waterway if you want, or you can just do this. How did you get in here? Leave now. I mean, I was doing that anyway, buddy. So, what are you planning to do now? I'm going to look for the Enterprise. I see. What about you? Your orders, my liege. There was an uninvited guest here earlier. I don't know how he got in, but he did. Our orders, then. I've never met the man before, but there was something about him. Go after him. The kingdom of Baron must protect the world's peace. Understood, Your Majesty. <sighs> Looks like our stay here has been cut short. Huh? Okay. Come on, let's go. Go where? We're going northwest to Miss Cave. Hurry. I have no idea what's going on in this game, and I kind of like that. You learned the cross slash band. All right. Uh, it's a weird way to learn it, I guess, but okay, we learned it. Whatever that means. All right, what does that do? Slice through a single enemy. That sounds fun. Northwest. Oh, path of boy. Right to the world. Right path. There it is. Are we going to get here without a fight? That's crazy. No one may pass. Orders from the king. Are, are we doing this again? Why not? There's no way my father would have given a decree like that. No one may pass. Orders from the king. All right. Hey. Brace yourself, Theodore. Ooh, it's a centaur knight. It was a centaur knight. Huh? Ooh. I figured as much. The monster, he's got that soldier. No, he was that soldier. Okay. Huh? All right, that was too Lilith. Um, I'm going to use some Asuna now. I can't use some Asuna, but we have Echo Herbs. Alright, we're gonna keep going forward. Uh, we got a steel helm. Who can rock that? I'm gonna go to you because that way you don't lose anything. <sighs> it says to give it to Theodore, uh, so I'll do that, I guess. I mean, whatever. Um, I had an itch. Okay.
We need to move, Cedar. A cave in down here would be our end. Oh, huh, okay. What the hell? Whoa! Theodore! Clumsy. Mm. I didn't read what it said, so I was looking at my guide. I'm fine. Good, then start climbing. Okay. Alright, that was terrible. That was two Lilas, and they actually froze my character. I didn't like that at all. Down, we're going to go down the left stairs first. Because there is a silent bell. I have no idea what that is, so we're going to find out. Uh, silent bell. Same effect of silence. Makes sense, I guess. That was a Lilith and an Ogre. Okay, I don't know if we fought cave bats. We're gonna go ahead and keep these in. It's not like it's much of a fight. They're gonna die pretty quickly. Alright. Should be a Phoenix down. It is. Okay. Nope. I ran from that because uh, they jumped us. I'm not fighting jumped enemies. That's just not going to happen. All right. That was two Lilith. This should be a remedy. Okay. That was two Lilith. I have been silenced again. Really? Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep this one because we have two new bad guys, Edlin Snakes and Cave Naga. Not that either one seemed all that important, but they were new. Ah, <clears throat> oh, we got a succubus. Cool. So obviously there's a secret here. Alright, that was 3k back, but you could tell this was going to be a secret. So we got Mithril Gloves. And again, we're going to equip them to Cecil. Alright, now we're going to go back out. We're going to go through the door. If you save here, you won't be able to return to Baron for a while. I'm not really sure why, but that's what it tells me to do. Um, and we have someone that sells stuff here. Um, I'm not going to save for my reasons. You can stop on a stock, blah, 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 blah. You can stock up on some tents and uh, potions here if you want. Maybe a couple echo herbs. Um, how many do we have? We got that. We're good. We're good. Um, oh. We're not done. We still got more to do. Let's go. Head up the path to the right. All right, that was an ogre and a and a naga, one of the cave nagas. All right, we got an antidote. Ooh, two mind players, which were actually the first bosses in the Final Fantasy One. Was the first boss. First real boss, I believe. All right. All right. That was two more mind players. They seem to be quite common down here. All right. What are you? Gonna... <sighs> we, have we seen a needle hog? I feel like we have, but I'm gonna keep it just because I'm not 100 percent sure. I want to go with no because they seem to take a lot more damage than anything we fought. But there you go. We fought those. Now this should be an X potion. We're gonna go up. It's a fell turtle. It wasn't looking at us, so we might be able to kill it before it hits us. Yay, we did it. Okay, so this should be an Arctic Wind. 
All right, that was two more mind flayers. They, I have not yet had them attack. I should not have said that. Okay. Right, that was three K-Bats and a Succubus. We're gonna go left. Right, I need a heal. That was a fell turtle that I ran from because, again, they keep trying to jump us. I'm not, I'm not fighting those guys. Those guys are not fun. And we also attack from the back row, so it takes us longer to kill them. Okay, so I'm going all the way. Here, head, left. Should be a cottage, cool. Should reach a door. With the chain mail, which I'm going to assume we're gonna also give to Mr. Theodore. I think we got a boss coming, which is perfect. Uh, fight the boss and we'll end this video. I have the fell turtle. I'm trying to get into one more fight. Yep. Okay, so this boss is gonna be a pain in the butt, but I have its number, so we're gonna definitely save. Or, or at least we're going to use a tent. Um, I'm actually going to go hit the bathroom and I'll be right back. You won't even know I'm gone. All right, welcome back. Um, hmm, I might have made this next boss a little bit hard because I sold something I was supposed to keep. Spider silk. All right, so we have a case Sith here, guys. Um, so, yeah, the... Be careful what you sell. I went. I actually off camera went back to the guy that sells stuff to see if maybe he um, had spider silk, and he did not. Uh, so let's continue forward. That was lovely. That was two K more cases than an ogre, and we're about to fight a boss, and they keep doing this to me. This is this is messed up. Like, leave us alone. We have a boss to fight. All right, here we go. Boss has about 8,000 life. It's shaking harder now. Where's it coming from? We've direct, we're directly above it. Okay, we've seen you before. All right, so we gotta turn off the auto because we actually have to hit this guy hard. Um, his earthquakes, this is gonna be a hard fight because I don't have spider silk, which I'm assuming slows him down, so let's see. It says to use BAM, so we're going to use Cross Slash. We haven't done it yet, let's see what it does. It says he has about 8,000 life. This is where we have to be careful because that is lethal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit... Wait. That will help. Oh, that might actually make this, that might have fixed the problem that I created on accident. Because Earthquake can't hit us while we are flying. Don't ask me why I did that. So he should have about 8,000 life. Uh, with us floating, he should have a really hard time um, hitting us. It should be impossible for him to hit us with uh, Earthquake, which seems to be a... It seems to be a... I can't think of the word right now. A counterattack sometimes, which is kind of devastating. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and use the High Potion on you, and you'll get the band going. He hits kind of hard, I'll, I'll say that. He 
Yeah, you missed. I wish you did. I see why you want to use Spider Cell, because he attacks a lot. Uh, which is kind of uncomfortable, honestly. Um, he attacks a lot. I should be using Kira, but I feel like using that. We're doing that, so. Right, we're going to do another band. All right, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Um, so we're gonna get a little bit of a cut scene and then we will move forward. I'm glad that I found out that I had float because boy, that helped. You all right? I'm fine. Was that thing the inhabitant of this cave? I'd say so this time at least. Huh? Was that a clue? Are you from the future? That sounded like a clue. Is this gonna have a futuristic, twisty, singy storyline like the first one did, which didn't really make a lot of sense when you really thought about it? I hope not, because that would ruin a really good story. Um, so until next time, adios, amigos. We're gonna go deeper into the cave.